MWD systems rely on downhole telemetry to get data from the tools to the surface where the directional driller can use it. That data can include uh, azimuth, inclination, logging data such as gamma or resistivity. That data is important. It allows the directional driller to steer the well and stay where the well was planned. Uh, it's important for to keep costs down and it's important to keep the well in the most productive zone when we get to depth. Pressure pulse technology is the dominant technology used in oil and gas. Uh, it uses the fluid column of mud to transmit the data from the MWD tools to the surface measurement system. Pressure pulse technology can be used with very long laterals, even out to 20,000 feet, uh, very effectively. The real-time data is important because it allows the directional driller to stay in zone and to drill the well as planned. That keeps cost down and productivity of the wells up. Compass Pulser is a positive pulse technology which is the result of many years of R&D. The final result is a very robust tool capable of 175 degrees centigrade and capable of generating very large pulses, which makes it easier to go deeper in a well and detect those pulses at surface. When operating on rigs with very high noise, we would recommend using the OSIRIS tool system. The OSIRIS system has additional features built in to reduce the signal to noise ratio, which can eliminate either surface noise resulting from the electrical system or the mud system, uh, or severe attenuation from being very deep in the well. Mud pulse technology works by causing an interference in the flow of the mud, which temporarily increases the pressure in the system. The pressure wave is transmitted through the mud up to the surface transducer where it is received and decoded. Pressure pulses are created by interfering with the flow of the mud downhole at the tool. That mud pulse travels up the well to the surface system where it's received. As it travels up the well, the peak is broadened and attenuated, making it more difficult to find at surface. It's important to create pulses of sufficient size at the tool so that when it reaches the surface, uh, they can still be decoded. We want to ensure at all times that the pulses can be detected at surface. If we take a look at this image, we can see how pressure pulse, which is being generated at about 250 pounds at the tool, as the tool travels down the well, the pressure pulse that's received at surface decreases to about one-tenth of that, or about 25 pounds. In addition to the attenuation that suffered downhole, noise can come in from other sources like agitators, mud pumps, electrical systems, and that noise uh, can be anywhere from an equivalent of a few PSI to as high as 25 or 30 PSI. Therefore, we would always recommend setting the tool so that you have a 50 pound pulse at the bottom of the next drilling interval. That should allow us to have at least 25 pounds riding on top of the noise for the system to find and decode. Compass provides a pop-out and orifice calculator that helps you select the appropriate pop-out and orifice in order to generate that 50 pound pulse at the bottom of the next drilling interval. We can take a look at this screen here. It gives you the pulse at the tool as well as the expected pulse at surface. The pop-out and orifice calculator allows a mud engineer to select the appropriate poppet tip and orifice for the next drilling interval. If a drilling engineer or MWD engineer is aware of higher noise on a given rig, they can select the poppet and orifice tip uh, in order to overcome any noise on the system as well. Configuring the poppet and orifice to have pulses received at a, more than 100 PSI is generally considered overkill and if you go too much higher than that, can lead to problems in decoding. The com Compass uh, pop and Orifice Calculator has a built-in attenuation model that assumes an attenuation of 50% for each change in depth of 3,500 feet. That was based on a population of wells that were used at the time the calculator was created. What we have found is that that model works very well for the majority of customers and slightly over predicts the attenuation, what we have found is that model slightly over predicts attenuation for the majority of wells being drilled. 3,500 feet is a very good average and works well for most people. 
If you would like to change the parameter, it's easy to do, and you can cause the model to either predict more or less attenuation. If you refer to our white paper on attenuation, we give some detailed instructions on how to use the data from the well that's being drilled in order to set that attenuation model.